Hello. Welcome to Port Chat. Oh, <laughs> is this a new show someplace? <laughs> no, it is not. Uh, we're trying to make it a new show. Oh, I thought we were on my front porch. <laughs> we are on your front oh, porch. Oh, <laughs> so this is Port Chat. <laughs> Port Chats. With, with um, Ed Bradley. <laughs> Ed Bradley used to be my idol. I don't think I've ever shared that I like you. Ed Bradley. I, he was a, I had a crush on Ed Bradley. Really? He wasn't my idol, but I had a crush on Ed Bradley him. was, for those of you who may not know, was a black journalist. He was on what was 60, it, 60 Minutes. minutes. Mm -hmm. Black journalist. He was the only one on there. He was on there for years. He started out on CBS News, though. Like, he was right. a reporter. And he was part of the reason why I wanted to, I was able to solidify that I wanted to be a broadcast journalist since I was, um, majored in mass media at, media at okay. Hampton. Mm -hmm. And he died while I was at Hampton, if I'm oh, not wow. mistaken. Okay. But he had a scholarship, but you had to be um, a broadcast journalist major. And if I'm not mistaken, I think you had to be black, oh. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but, he um, was very pro-black. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. But good day, thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. Oh, wait. That's your channel. I know. That's all I, that's all I was going to say, because <laughs> this is your shit. And I'm going to let you fuck this no. <laughs> All right. So, so wait, before we start, yeah. you should tell them that you're going to actually officially call your channel. Uh, I mean, you don't have to do it now, but I'm just saying. It's the Scott of it all. The Scott of it all. <laughs> Which I have to thank T. Monet because she gave me that. And so just to give you a little history like about. Like they know who she is. T. Monet. She's, she's, if you'll see her, she's following me. She wrote it in a comment on the port the last porch chat with Wendell mm -hmm. and Craig and I happened to be <laughs> out drinking with Carlton last Saturday. Saturday and she yelled across the courtyard asking to share our margaritas. Because we had pictures of margaritas. Asking Craig actually. And Craig said no. <laughs> I didn't know her. <laughs> and so I was like, well, he didn't pay for the margaritas. Like, we paid for them. Right, because I, I went to hold the table. <laughs> so this place that we went to, and I'm not telling y'all the name, because we don't need no extra lines at the places that we're going to. <laughs> right. Because y'all go to Because we up. stood in line for at least 40 minutes. <laughs> so when we got, I got to the restaurant first, and I was standing in the line. And I don't, I don't remember where I was coming from, but Carlton picked up. I was coming from the gym, and Carlton went and scooped up Scott, and I, we met at the place. So I was in the line when they pulled up, and so we were standing there talking, because you have to order your food, and then you go and sit, sit down, down, and then they'll call your name, and you go and pick you up your food and go sit down. So it was a bunch of people, and they had this huge outdoor patio, patio yeah. and some of the tables were like smack dead in the sun, and it was pretty warm on Saturday. It was. And so I wanted to get a table that was kind of in the shade. I said, well, let me run inside to get us a table. And then when you guys get up to the line to order, I'll come back, I'll just leave my gym back at the table. So basically he was luxuriating in the shade while Carlton and I and stood seated. in the, in and, the and hot seated. sun and seated. baking. The thing about these car chats is, I'm, I'm looking at all, I'm, not car chats, porch, porch chat. chat. I'm looking at all of the cars going by. They, it won't be as bad, because when Wendell and I did it on Martha's Vineyard, it was like heavy. Oh, I don't even think about, I'm not even talking about them hearing it. My, I'm distracted. distracted. I keep looking at every car going by. Um, so I went and sat down and I told them, I said, well, let me know when you get close and I'll come back. So they never called. They never said come back. So Carlson just called and said, hey, what do you want to eat? Da, 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 da. So I told them what I wanted. So they ordered a picture of Margaret. No, we had already had one picture. Oh, yeah. We, we had were, one while we were in the line. In the line. Yes. They finished it off we finished without it. me. Yes. And so then when we sat down, we ended up ordering, I think, two more. Yes. That last one was good though. It was like pomegranate. It was oh, no, hibiscus. Oh, no. it was hibiscus. Oh, so we had four. We had four. We had we had the one we had in line. I think we, we had, had two of the no, ones no, like we had in we line. We had we had one we had in line. We had um, the skinny one that Carlton that, got. Right. Then we had the hibiscus, and then, and we, then had we had mezcal. mezcal. We had four pictures. No wonder I was so fucking. We, that's why I was when I went too. to see Smart, Funny, and Black. <laughs> I could barely get myself together. So okay. anyway, wait, do you put your phone on Do Not Disturb so nobody calls or anything? I, so I had learned that, but I forgot just now. So it's it'll be okay. Oh. Uh, uh, we'll figure it out. So oh, yeah. I've had, so the last video, I had to piecemeal it together in okay. uh, whatever that That was part of the reason why I got a second phone, because yeah. I got, because Carlton, my mother, they were like, I've been calling you for an hour. And I'm like, girl, I was on a live. Right, yeah. <laughs> I, I probably should do that. <clears throat> All right, so let's talk real about... Um, 
let's have a porch chat about comments mm. um in our feeds okay so uh recently uh when we went live me you elliot and ryan and ryan and someone wrote in your comment uh-huh about you're not a good person yeah and that you don't share yeah and i we were chat we were texting in a group text that we're all in and now mind you i posted a video about how my mood was not in the best of moods um just because of people mm -hmm. and you know not being kind mm -hmm. or being considerate or being you know whatever right and so you know craig is of the mindset he ignores a lot of comments particularly ones that are antagonistic i guess yeah. towards you or unkind is my thought mm -hmm. and i and so they were like you know he or she whoever this person is wants mm -hmm. some attention and i was like well they're gonna get it today they're gonna get some attention today because because what he or she i don't know if it was male or female i don't either said um well we all know that craig is not a good person and I don't remember what else. It said something about you not sharing um, yeah. and that you you have an only child. It's an only child thing. Which I'm not an only but, child. And then they ended it by saying, but we still love him. Right. And I read that it's like... It's like a backhanded compliment. Oh, my God. And first of all, you're not an only child. <laughs> right. <laughs> I actually am an only child. And so that's inaccurate. Mm -hmm. And then, like, to say all this stuff, like, you're, you're not... He's not a good person. I was like... You don't even know the, you don't even know him like that is so like and not to mention we literally at the beginning of the live we had spent how much like 20, 20 minutes, minutes talking about doing donating this drive. and like i mean so how i don't understand like that's confusing so yeah and then to come over to my page oh, are you on silent <laughs> So then coming over to my page and I got some comments about uh, me and then about understanding. So I, Wendell and I were talking about the whole use of food thing on Scott. And, it, and so it's a joke mm -hmm. that I actually made. He started the joke. I started the joke. And, and just for those who don't know how it started, I know we've told this before, but yeah, yeah. it's always somebody new watching. Right. Carlton and I, we were saying something about having kids, having kids. or something. Yes. And then you, and I said, yeah, because uh, it happened. It was around the context of raising the kids, raising the kids, and how it's going to take a village because, like, Carlton and I like to travel and go and yeah, do yeah. stuff. And, and he I, said, yeah, well, don't send them down to Aunt Scott's house. <laughs> he said, because you will not be sending them over <laughs> to Aunt Scott's house. So, and we joke like that. And, and from then on, I just been saying Aunt Scott. So, and it, and when I think of it's, it's completely hilarious and you know if i'm tooting my own horn i am a funny person sometimes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so as are you right and so i'm i we say that to say i'm in on the joke however i am not a person <laughs> that is i don't like for people to get too familiar with me strangers even acquaintances like people that know me like and i i'm going to use the example of and i use this in my video that if you are introduced to me and Craig, you hear Craig call me girl. You hear Wendell call me girl. Or bitch. Or bitch. Or any of the... That doesn't give you license to say it. Craig and I have been friends for 20, 25 years. Yeah. Wendell and I have been friends for 30 years. Mm -hmm. You can't know me for five minutes and then be calling up, oh, well, girl, because mm -hmm. I'll punch you in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I don't get down like that. <laughs> like, that is not okay with me. Um, it's interesting because a female friend of mine from back home, she has the uh, nonprofit organization back home, the Catherine family. We helped them get the van and all that stuff. But anyway, she had called me last week and was like, oh, my God, you all were saying punk and sissy and stuff on the live. She said, I just think that y'all need to do a disclaimer because she's very sensitive. Like, she hates the word faggot and okay. kind of stuff like that. But she said, I just and she's a straight girl. But she's like, I just think that y'all need to do a disclaimer and say it's not okay for people outside of the community to, to use, use those words. words. And, say, and I said, and I usually am really good about saying it. Yeah. My hands are dry. I just wash them. <laughs> but, you know, I said, I'm usually good about saying, listen, just if you're not in the community or part of the community, you shouldn't be saying these words. So that kind of goes hand in hand with what we're talking about today. It's I'm the same way. It's just like, even if I meet like gay folks and... We're in the little gathering. 
excuse me, or whatever, and some of the gay boys that I'm really cool, cool with. Because for, for the most part, me and my friends don't say girl and Miss Thing and all that right. stuff. We I don't. have that relationship with Keon. He's just a different... And we you have that relation get, with, with me. Right. But we don't say it like that no, all the don't. time. Like We, we really, really don't. don't. We really Keon don't. says it more than anybody that I know. Now, when I was in my 20s, me and my friends, the Head of Brink's first book, we used to say that kind of stuff. But I don't really have that kind of relationship with anybody. I'm laughing at the Head of Brink's. The Head of Brink's. <laughs> you know what the Head of Brink's is? I do. <laughs> From Amen, the sisters. <laughs> and so... Um, but y'all didn't call each other that among it out. No, we didn't. You no. had a ringtone. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had a ringtone <laughs> that went with what they called. What they were called right, <laughs> Charlie's Angels. Yes. <laughs> do, 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 and all of them do, had do. the same ringtone. We all had the same ringtone, <laughs> and we only had it for each other. So I knew it was one of the angels calling. Me. <laughs> and like we were out at a tennis match one day, and t I, I called Tito. Tito was at a tennis tennis match, and I called Tito. And his players were like, is it Charlie's <laughs> Angels? And he said, oh, yeah, that's Craig or Alex. He didn't know which one of them was. But anyway, but the point is, it's just well, that wait, we have a rapport me, let, with people. That's right. Well, wait. So I want to say, because I want to take it a step further and mm -hmm. say that not only are we not like that, but everyone is not like that. Right. There are words, and I'm speaking I'm speaking to women right now. You will sit with your girlfriends and say, Well, bitch, da 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 or girl, ba da 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 da. And and if another woman comes into your circle and does that, you'll be like, Wait girl, a minute, don't we don't know. Little bitch. And That's don't right. let and don't let a straight man or a gay man for that matter Do that. come and be like, bitch, da 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 da. You are instantly offended. Yeah. And I I will welcome anyone to challenge me and say that you're not. Because you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if it's a guy that you do not know, and he just comes up, just start calling you bitch. Well, hey, you know? bitch. Right. <laughs> oh, bitch, get out of my face. Da, da, da. You know or what I mean? like, even the, the N-word. Like, right. you know, like, th the same is true. Like, so if, if kids are rapping that word and someone that is not of the same ethnicity as us walks into that and uses that word, you're offended. Right. And it's the same story. Mm -hmm. This is not anything new. Like, you can't just use... You can't take those permissions and apply them to yourself just because you've seen them or heard them. There is context. And the context is 25 years mm -hmm. of friendship, 25 mm -hmm. years of understanding. Mm -hmm. There is like our intonations, our body language. We know all of those things about each other. You don't know those things about us. Right. <laughs> and you may see us on a live. You may see us in, you know, wherever, but you don't. So you don't get to take that license or entitlement. Is that the right word? What was that, uh-huh, or that privilege? What What was that um, comment that you said somebody posted? Oh, they posted that they were confused. You go on my page. They posted read. it on his... Um, on my, on my, they were confused. Um, are you on my... <laughs> I had to respond to that text. <laughs> Keep talking to the okay, people. So, <laughs> anyway, I want to talk about... Which video was it under? That one. This one? I want to talk about comments. I like comments. I, I welcome them. Um, and I welcome them because I think when you have a dialogue, particularly if you're coming from different perspectives, there's growth in that. For myself as well. Like, I'm not... I don't claim to be a... A know-it-all I don't you know I, I know what I know now if we're if the topic at hand is Scott I'm the subject matter expert and I probably I might challenge you back or I might just be like whatever um, but if you're writing a comment that you know you're taking a stance on be prepared particularly on my page because I might challenge you like and and you need to validate your source. You need to make me understand why you think this. Like, because we're going to have a dialogue about it. And it's important to note that for me, because I don't know you, they're just words on a screen. And I say that I don't know you because I don't know your intonation. I don't know how you use words. I don't know your mood. I don't know your affect. I don't know you. And so when you read my comment back, I would appreciate the same courtesy because at the end of the day, you don't know me either. Is this the one, Scott, I think the On Scott label does bother you? No, no, no. That, that's another one. Um, keep going or keep scrolling. Oh, this is confusing. Yes. 
Okay, so she says, this is confusing because if I hear you answer to a female pronoun, I'm going to use the pronoun because I'd assume that's your preferred pronoun. I would have no idea I offended you or that the pronoun is reserved for close friends. So Scott says, it really is not that confusing. So based on what you just wrote, if a person who is not African-American heard you referred to as the N-word or a man, the B-word, by one of your friends, then I can assume it's okay to use that word with you. No, I doubt that would be okay with you. When you have an established rapport with someone, they are given permissions that a casual acquaintance or a total stranger are not. So she responded. She says, Scott, I'm only saying I wouldn't know. We know the N word and B word are offensive. I'm using this as a teaching moment because I really had no idea. But and then she says, I try to use first names because I'm not intentionally trying to hurt feelings. So let's, for just a second, and I'm not putting this per, I, you know, we didn't mention the person's name. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd appreciate, you know, like be respectful. Um, but let's dissect the comment before for a second because they said I wouldn't know but you you in your previous comment you said I assume that the, mm -hmm. the person it's okay to to you that they're this is their preferred pronoun it's not okay to assume right like you can't there's a again there's a context you're you're watching or listening or overhearing something a conversation and you don't have all of the information i.e. 25 years of friendship and like we just didn't walk in off the street and be like oh well bitch what's going on you know like well i'm gonna say this too because even in when it comes to the white gays i think sometimes <clears throat> they're a little too familiar they get a little too familiar especially when they get to have they, they get in their cup or and, they've watched one too many black television shows. right because some so many white gay boys they think they black women and they just get the pop and they yeah. go, oh miss girl and miss yeah. thing and I'm like, slow down, Peppermint. <laughs> right. <laughs> slow down, Peppermint. I don't know you like that. You know, they get the, you know, especially when they're in their cup, though. You Can know, I give a story about that? Go ahead. So remember when I used to live in, with Trace and Gray? Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't know you then. Oh, okay. I well, met I, you right after that. I had two white roommates, Trace and Gray. Uh, they were a couple. And I Trace owned the house. It was a split-level house. I lived on the top floor. The middle floor was like the kitchen, living room, and stuff. And they lived on the bottom floor. Mm -hmm. We decided to have a party because we were like, oh, well, let's merge our friends. Let's introduce the white mm -hmm. guys to the black guys. So I come downstairs to my to my kitchen because I live there. Uh -huh. And I'm like, hey, how's it going? This um, white guy comes over to me and says, how you doing? And I looked at him. I was like, hello, my name is Scott. Right. Right. It's just like, why would you? Why are you doing that? Right. So as he's leaving, I walk over to him and my my girlfriend Rashida is with me and she's I like guess he had seen too much Martin. Something. Or Wendy Wood I don't know. Right. Or Wendy Williams, right. <laughs> well Wendy Williams wasn't on I mean well, she was on the radio back I'm, then. I was getting Shanae. Um and so I walked in over to him as he's walking down my driveway. I was like, What was that about? And he was like, Oh, well, I was just trying to be friendly. And I was like, Mm. I don't think so. Because would you have done that with a white guy? Right. How you doing? Right. So my point in sharing this is like, it's the familiarity thing. Mm -hmm. Like you don't, there are certain things that you just don't do. But like, the same is true. Like when you go into a store and the the, the, the clerk or the person helping you <laughs> is a black person mm -hmm. and they assume because you're black mm -hmm. that they can take certain liberties or say certain things. Or they don't even have to say thank you. Or, or right, <laughs> they ain't got to really acknowledge, they don't have to really give you that level of customer, customer service, service that they would give That's right. to other customers because it's like, oh, you black, I'm black. Or they just on the phone, they cursing. Yes. <laughs> or they cursing, talking to other coworkers. I told that bitch. Or they on the phone, or they on the phone, why they bringing you out? And I'm like, uh, <laughs> Well, bitch, damn. what you doing? <laughs> right. I get off the six. Right, right. <laughs> like, uh, you know, can and, you check me out? <laughs> or even like if something going on in the store, like if there's a staffing issue, yeah, my fucking manager gonna come over here talking about she ain't wanna, like they involving you. I'm like, girl, I don't need to know the inner workings of what's happening here at the Dollar Tree. I'm just trying to come in and come back out. Right. I just came in for some Q-tips. <laughs> and know, some I, fingernail polish for Right. <laughs> I just think that's, you know, I, I'm like, that's so unprofessional. But that, I mean, so to me, that's a difference of 
not really being respectful of your job in general, right? Mm -hmm. And it, I don't know if I necessarily, it has anything to do with me personally. Right, right. It really just has to do with you not really understanding uh, what's appropriate at work. <laughs> exactly. exactly. I mean, that's what's in my Yeah, mind. it's just a lack of professionalism. It is. Right. Not to mention now, we're, if you want to take it a step further, it's not appropriate to be having that conversation mm -hmm. in front of me as a customer. Mm -hmm. And maybe you're taking liberties because you see me as a black person and, and maybe you think it's okay. It's not okay. Because what they don't know is I work in human resources. Mm -hmm. And I tend to remember stuff. Um, I'm very detail oriented. Mm -hmm. And so when I encounter stuff like that, I'm always like, please God, don't let this person ever sit down in front of me for an interview. Because mm -hmm. I'll remember and be like, mm, not hiring. You. Right, <clears throat> right. So, um, so it's kind of like. Do you respond? You don't. You respond to comments sometimes. It's, it's rare. It's rare. It's very rare. And so Craig and Ellie. I mean, I respond to the good ones. You know what I mean? Like, oh my god, your mom looks really good for her birthday. Yeah. And I'll respond to stuff like that, or um, now, you know. But this, you've lit. You've lit. You've lit some people. <laughs> <laughs> you you've lit some people up in the comments. Too. I have, I have, but it, it's really rare though. I, I think like in the instances where I did it, like I was really stressed, like when my mom was here. Yeah, yeah. Like I had a lot on my plate, and, and I, just I think didn't that's have what much. was like for me. Yeah. Like I even said it. I was like, I'm in my feelings right now, mm -hmm. and and you gonna get it. Like I'm right. not having this, particularly talking about my friend. Like if you know me. I'm very protective of people in my life. Like, you don't mm. fuck with them. Like, it's just that simple with me. Mm -hmm. um, particularly if you don't know what you're talking about. Right, right. But yeah, I mean, people will say stuff, you know, and that goes back to what I was going to say in the beginning, too. I think one of the beautiful things about this live stuff happening for me in my 40s is that I was in my 40s. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, like, once you're in your 40s... What do you mean? So you're, like, you're settling into yourself? And the little things don't bother me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, those comments. I think that's true of me, too. Right. But I if think... I was in my... If I was doing this in my 20s... Oh, my God. If you, or my 30s... You'd never leave the house because you'd be responding I'd to be everybody. I'd be tearing them up. Yeah. But see, <laughs> Madison... See, Madison started early. Madison was... She was doing this when when it was Vine. I didn't do Vine, but I think so. So she was in her like. Don't you think it's true though? Like when you are transgendered or mm -hmm. when you are a gay man, mm -hmm. your skin is a lot thicker. Yeah, yes, indeed. I think when you're queer, period. Yes. I mean, Be and because you've gone through your whole life feeling like you can be talked to like and you have to defend yourself you you've have been to defending defend yourself like that's you've right. gotten so much practice that's and right. i think that's why and i've said this somewhere before i think that's why so many gay men have such quick tongues i know i do it's because you spent so much of your childhood defending and arguing and and, la yeah. and you know having to read people because they said whatever and they maybe said about even you. fight and maybe even fight so i think that's why a lot of us have quick tongues yeah um, because you arguing with your cousin yeah. your, your family your friends you that's know right. whomever people in the street but and you know, I think because Madison started so early doing lives and videos and shit, she's gotten used to responding to comments. And when I started working with her, I was like, "Girl, why?" Oh, you? she responds. Oh, like yes, in the good. Oh, okay. No, she responds. Like she'll she'll argue back. In fact, she called me today for <clears throat> yesterday and said, "Bitch, I am not above uh, reading these hoes." You know, she just said it the other day. Well, and so for me, like, I'm not really trying to read anyone. Like, if you notice... No, my, she... No, it's like when they get in her comments saying crazy shit, like, they might be saying, um, you know, you're you're still a man. I don't care what you got on. Oh, like, they might be just saying... Just completely yeah, disrespectful. Right. That's, that's a whole nother level. Or they'll be in her video saying, who is she? I don't know who the fuck she is. I ain't never heard of her. Like, they doing stuff like that. Which so, is just a level of Yeah, just basically undermining what yeah. she's accomplished yeah, yeah. and what she's done. And I don't and so feel she'll like respond. that. Like, do you... I don't know. Yeah. No. I mean, that would be a different level of commenting on my part. Like, I do feel like people are being respectful. And I, my point is, understand that I'm being equally respectful, but I'm going to mm -hmm. challenge you back. Right. Like, I'm going to I'm going to push you like you're pushing me with right. the same kind of equal, resistance. Yeah, yeah that's right. But yeah, so she'll respond. But and like I said, every now and then I will. But um, I think I probably probably responded more. Earlier thing. on, no, I, I was really good about ignoring that shit in the beginning. <laughs> I definitely didn't respond. I think I've gotten to the point now. I think 
I was gonna say, and I don't know how true this is, but I think it like when I was I had more on my plate, like with my mom here, I just had little patience. My patience was short. Yeah. Especially when it came to them commenting about certain things about what they thought I should be doing with my mom and Yeah. Because a lot of them were making up shit. Just like somebody the top of the video we said the girl said I'm so selfish and you know, just this that and the third. They would say to me, um, oh well you only um they basically were trying to say that I was trying to put Carlton before my mom, and oh, you, wow. you, you just worried about that man. You just so scared you're gonna lose him, and that's why you don't want your mother there, and that's why you don't want to do this. That's your mother. Oh you my should, god! Oh yeah, they they would go wow. in. You should you should be. Um, and I mean, they would have whole threads. Like, <laughs> kind of, I mean, it'd be like two of them just going back and forth. Yeah, girl, you you understand what I'm saying? These other people, they just listen to him because they love him so much. But real is real, and you know, it just don't make no sense. Let's talk real. You have a lot of time on your hand to be doing all. That. Yeah, like, you like they would be in those comments, and a lot of times I'd be that's good. the same person that said to register on their on their phone type of their comments. And, and when and you need walk to be up, you, and right when you walk up, you can't get service. <laughs> but it's just like they will they would be going in. But then there were a lot of people that would email me through Patreon or DM me and say, oh my God, listen. Or, or, or they'd be in the comments eating their asses up, fighting back with them. But they'd be like, Craig, you're doing a great job. These people that have so much negative stuff to say have never, never been gone a through all that. Oh my God. And they don't understand. They said, we understand. We see you. That's right. We know that it's hard. That's right. It's not easy. You're doing a great job. You're learning as you're going. You know, so those things would, would help. So the good outweighed the bad. The good outweighed the bad. The bad. And yeah, then yeah. I just realized... These people don't know because sometimes they would just be way off base. Yeah, like there were things that my mother wanted to do well, okay. that I didn't want to do, and they'd be like, they would thought it was my idea. But why you let? Well, well, I don't understand why you doing this, that, and the third. You know, because there were a lot of times my mother would be like, "Well, um, I'm trying to think of an example." Like she'd be like, "Well, I can't think of anything right now." But she might be like, "Well, go ahead and go and do this, that, and the third. Like she might say, "Well, you and Carlton go do whatever. I'll be fine. I'll just stay here." I don't remember, but. I can't think of an exact example, but they would be criticizing things. And I'm like, because like, for example, like she would be like, she was trying to get in the habit of using like the mobility service. Mm. And like, sometimes they'd be like, well, I don't understand why you can't, that's your mother. You should be w wanting to do this, that, and the third. Cause you only get, you, you only get one mother and you know, and I'm just Here's like, the thing. The just choices, because you only get one mother doesn't mean that I'm not tired. I'm still tired. Well, okay? my thing is that the choices that people make for their life, has nothing to do with the choices exactly. that you make for your life. Exactly. Like there are people, people make choices that are best for their life mm -hmm. in that moment. And people think that because... And they think that's easy that you just land on that. And people think that because you share your life... That they have... That they have, that it warrants them to be nasty and mean. You can give your opinion. Sure. But there's a way to do it without trying to be nas nasty and Well, hurtful. and my point, to the point of you can give your opinion, I... I have an opinion, but mm. I get, I have one too, right? And I get to express my like. If you want to come express it, be mm. prepared that I'm gonna mm. I might mm. express mine back. Mm. And I mean, like the per the comment that you started to read was said that Scott, I do think you're bothered by right. the Aunt Scott. If I were truly bothered by that, I would have said something to Craig. Mm -hmm. I would have said it on the live. Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm, I'm not on here talking about my suicide attempt, talking about my status, and then hiding something so trivial like, like Aunt, Aunt Scott. Scott. Right, right. Why would I do that? Right, right. That makes no sense. And, and I, have I ever brought up Aunt Scott to you as it no, bothering me? No, no, no. Not no. no. But I just <clears> think that some. And what I realized too is I have to step back. And just be like, sometimes the people that make those really, really nasty comments, no matter, I don't know what's going on in their lives, but sometimes they're just hurting and suffering from whatever's True. going on in their own. Yes. My hands are extremely dry. Um, they're going. Well, I want to hurt because I, I don't want people to think that because you, you segued into making hurtful com like I didn't feel like those were right, hurtful right. comments towards no, me. No, no, I meant the ones yeah, they yes, were saying like when it was you. coming yes, to yeah. Because yeah. I mean even when I first started bringing Carlton onto the videos, like some people would say real nasty things. Yeah. And, um And I'm okay with that. Like if you have something nasty to say like I But they would just say stuff, well I hate his hair, why he got that hair like that and like it was just like And isn't it funny to me it's all it's funny it's it's funny to me in an ironic way that it's always those people mm -hmm. that don't have a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or don't even have like a real name a as their exactly. as their profile. As their username, yeah. They but they feel the need to comment on how mm -hmm. someone else looks. Or they'll talk about um uh they would be like, Oh, Carlton ain't really into you, Craig, and you know like or they would or they would say that <laughs> I was just using Carlton because I was trying to social climb. What? what? 
You know, I mean, and, and, or they would talk about the age difference. I mean, they would, they would say all kinds of mean stuff. Yeah. And I used to tell him, I'm like, don't read it. Yeah. Like, why are you reading? Because in the beginning, he used to watch the videos back. And then he'd be looking at the, he'd be sitting there looking at the comments. So, and honestly, so I'm getting to that point. So today mm -hmm. on my phone, I turned my notifications off. Mm -hmm. So I don't even see, yeah, yeah. like if I, if I see the comments then I will, you know, read and respond. Right. But I think because I was getting the notifications, I felt it, obligated yeah, yeah, to, to read them. Right, exactly. Yeah. Well, they, I could read them in my inbox, on, uh -huh. on my email. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that I probably need to get, like it's, it's honestly like going down a rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. um, but know that I will, like, I do welcome comments and I do welcome comments that may or may not agree with my own, like opinions that don't necessarily agree with me. I'm happy mm -hmm. to have that dialogue. It doesn't bother me in the least. And I'm not offended. I'm not even really agitated, but I am going to, um, I'm going to push back. Like I'm mm -hmm. going to, you know, you don't get to say what you want to say, and then that's just the end of it. Mm -hmm. Like, we can have a dialogue, a respectful dialogue, but a dialogue. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, and in the beginning, I used to read the um, comments. I used to go back and watch the video and look at the comments. But then it was just like... For what? Think about the poison that you're, that you're self-inflicting. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like you're going back and reading those nasty comments. And there are times that I'll, I'll start typing a response and then I'll say, you know what, Craig? You're not going to feel any better once you send this. Yeah. And then it was just like... In fact, you might feel guilty. Right. And then they want you to respond. They, yeah. they Like when they're saying something intentionally nasty, they really want your attention. And it's just like you send them <laughs> a, a more powerful message when you respond, when you don't respond at all. And, and you leave the comment down there. For other people to see it. Because I don't go in there and delete comments either. I think that, I think you just threw my words back at me. What? Would you, would you uh, make a more powerful oh. by not responding at all? Yeah, when we were in Baltimore. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes, I mean, you know, sometimes you do need to be reminded of that, like, silence is is a really powerful tool. Yeah, like, it I is. I don't have to engage. Yeah. Um, but I, you know, I, there's a part of me that feels as though it's social media. So mm -hmm. I should be social. Like you're making comments, so I should respond. Right. I don't know. And, and, and there's a balance saying. in there. It somewhere. is a balance. And that's why I try to respond because sometimes people are asking like legitimate questions like, hey, um, what was the. What kind of black soap do you use? Like, if I've talked about it yeah, in a video or right. something like that. Or, like, when I do my fruit and veggie wash, I was saying you can use baking soda. And I think I kind of one day said baking powder. And somebody was like, well, is it baking soda or powder? So I try to respond. Like, I try to be interactive. Excuse me. Because I don't try to... Um, just be like, oh, well, I'm not responding to nobody's comments. You know <laughs> no, I don't. Some, yeah, I some wasn't people are it. like that. They're like, well, I don't respond to some comments. You know, they, they feel like higher up because yeah, they don't yeah. respond. Right. But I try to, I literally try to respond to um, comments. What do you want to have a lighter? No. no, sorry. Um, I try to respond to the comments. Uh, he don't see this motherfucking camera right here. And he's going to interrupt our video. He's going to ask us about a video. I mean, ask us about a motherfucking lighter. He's fiending for a cigarette right mm -hmm. now. But um, a passerby. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, you know, I just, what was I saying? That you try, you don't feel higher up and you try oh, to Oh, yeah, respond. yeah, so I try to respond, you know, and so it's always funny to me when, especially on Instagram, when somebody, because it goes to a filtered box, and so I do go check my DMs from time yeah. to time, and somebody, and I'll respond depending on what it is, um, and they'll be like, oh my God, I can't believe you responded to my DM. And they would just, well, they'll you say do like, have like 30,000 followers. So it's just, it's just, I know. <laughs> and, and I don't respond to all of them, but you know, cause sometimes, you know, it's like a flirt or, yeah, so I don't always respond. Yeah. I'll respond to the flirts. Like the person that, that said, can I have Scott's number? Right. <laughs> or they'd be like, oh, can I, um, can what? I, can I eat your booty? And oh they, my God. He, they be saying all kinds of shit. <laughs> Listen, this one boy, he sent him a whole video of himself jacking off. Lean in his kitchen, leaning on a refrigerator. Okay, so I, I did get one of those. <laughs> the plot thickens. <laughs> I you did get. You do say. You don't say. I did get one of those. When was this? Uh, it was shortly after we started doing. I or I started. Appearing. Was it someone that you were um, found attractive? No, I actually I don't know. Like, cause they uh, had like a faceless oh, okay. profile. 
and I just got like a big fat uncut. Or did you respond? No, oh. I did not. Oh, because I don't know if that's them. Like, you yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. you might be trying to bait me into it. Yeah, like, yeah. I wasn't really like, I mean, for all I know, you might be some 16 year old. Like, I don't right, know. Right. Like, I'm not yeah, doing yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. So no, thanks. <laughs> Basically. I'm more interested in people that have the courage of their convictions. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, here's my face, here's my body, you know, right, like, right. here's my profile, I have pictures, right. you know. Right. I, you know, I'm, that's... But mm. what's baffling to me also, too, is it's like there are people who, who are so invested in coming on to the live streams and saying negative things. Oh, I, I really just don't like you. And, just, and I don't really get those blatant things like that, but I've seen it happen to other people. Or I've had people say something similar. They'd be like, you know, you're just so um, full of yourself or you're just so self. It's like, well, why do you... But their name's in there all the time. I'm like, well, why do you keep watching? Because I ain't watching no bitch that I don't like. You understand? Like, why are you torturing yourself? Like, if you don't, like... Yeah. I don't... That, 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 to me, that that's a sign of some sort of a mental illness or some shit. Like, you, you are poor, torturing yourself? Right. Why are you punishing yourself? Right. You don't have to sit there and look at my YouTube or Facebook live. Because you have other options. You can turn your phone off. Or watch television. Go on Hulu. Go for, go for, go for a walk. Right, and you sitting there suffering like, oh, it just makes me sick. You sitting there looking at the video doing all of that? <laughs> Bitch, you crazy. Like, something wrong with you. Like, who does that? I don't know. That would be like me sitting here looking at Tyler Perry shit all day long, knowing I don't like his stuff. I have no issue with him, <laughs> but I don't like his stuff. And I'm going to sit there and watch Diary Man, Black Woman. Yeah, I'm going to sit there and watch House of Pain. Right. And be like, oh, this is so stupid. Why, this is dumb. <laughs> like, th that's dumb. <laughs> and that's dumb. D-U-M-B. Dumb. <laughs> D-U-M-B. Dumb. Yeah, I, 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 I concur. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't understand that either. Like, I don't, it's like, it's, it's having some integrity with yeah. your like so if you claim this is what you claim i don't like this person yeah. then there's actions that support this claim correct that's that's right so like if you claim to like i don't like him he's right know, whatever then maybe you shouldn't watch right <laughs> so here's the thing when i started getting a lot of that critique about my mom and what i was doing and i i could should be doing more and yeah you know this that and the third um, because again, the people who were making those comments saw like one live video yeah. where I'm talking about an issue or they I get was, one little tiny yeah, thread. Yeah. It's like, you're not, you're not seeing what's happening day to day, right. all day, yeah, every yeah. day. And, and um, I see more than they see. And I still reserve, I never said right. anything to Craig about, cause I, kn I don't know that like my parents are healthy and they are self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. And like, so I don't feel the, the place to say any, all I said to Craig was, Whatever you decide, like mm -hmm. I'm your friend and I right. support whatever you. But it was also it was also doing. like you, Elliot, and Ryan would make uh, Lenard would make suggestions, not suggestions, would offer to do certain things. Yeah. Hey, well, you know, I can go and pick up your mom something to eat, or yeah. you need me to run it. Like it wasn't like, oh, well, I think you should do this, 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 yeah, this, no. and the third. No, they volunteered themselves and they did it instead yeah. of giving me something else to pile on my list. <laughs> Because it was like, people would be like, well, I think you should, like, Angela was good for this. Love her to death. But Angela would be like, well, Craig, I think you should do such, such. And I'm like, well, girl, you could actually come over here and do it. <laughs> you could take her to such, such. You know what I mean? And she'd be like, oh, I'm going to take your mother out one day. I'm going to take her to lunch. And child, it never happened. But see. But Angela did, like, come over and do your. She did come over and help me with the gardening. And stuff. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so, yeah. like, it was like people would. Stuff in her wheelhouse. Right, in your wheelhouse. And people would just volunteer to do it. But, you know, a lot of people who were making these negative comment, comments were like, well, I just think you need to do this, that, and the third. And it's just like, well, girl, you ain't never been nobody's caretaker, one. Two, my plate is already full, and well, I can't get to everything today. Sorry. But even if they have been someone's caretaker, the way they weren't do, Gladys's caretaker. Exactly. So and it's you, different. And, you, and you're not me. You do things the way That's that you right. think you want to do it, and I'm going to do things the That's way that right. I think is convenient for That's me. That's right. Because everybody's life, everybody's situation is entirely different. And, like, when you get a snapshot or a mm. glimpse, like, you can't, it's, it's I love people, right? Mm. But we as a, we, meaning black people, uh -huh. have a tendency to get a snap s snapshot and form a snap judgment. Mm -hmm. And we jump on bandwagons, mm -hmm. and then we're just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, let's kill them all. Or but what, this is know. why I always say, 
you know, and this is why in Book of Jewels, the dedication is a dedication to black people. And one of the things that I say in there is we really need and have to do a better job of being sweeter and kinder to each other. Because like I think about the Whitney Houston's of the world, how we loved her and we adored her, but we also were complicit yep. in ways, yep. you know, the way that we tore her down and yep. just, you know, just, you know, just Because initially when she came at like, they, you know, she, she would go on Soul Train Awards and they'd boo her. Right. Because she wasn't black enough. Or right. she was on the pop show. And it's like, we don't think about a person's mental health. Yeah. And that's why I will take my sabbaticals. Like, I'll, I'll come off and I won't go live for several days. Yeah. Because I may be exhausted from my own life. Or I may have been exhausted from whatever was going on. Or maybe I had taken one too many hits in the comments. <laughs> and I just needed a break. You yeah. know what I mean? To kind of recharge. and Because you know, I don't want it to affect me. I don't want the comments to affect me. So I'll step back a few days. So that I don't really absorb that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Fully. Because, um, I, so, and I want to talk about that for a second because I think, I don't think people understand that words matter. Mm -hmm. and because they, they stick. They do, like, whether or not we engage with you, sometimes we read them and they still sting. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, I mean, like, they... And because I just think of it from a holistic point of view. It's like, if I'm doing videos... And I'm and I'm and I'm absorbing those negative comments. After five years of reading those com comments, that starts to shape me. Yeah, it starts to alter. That's right. My ex my life experiences and how I experience things and perceive things. So I, you know, again, I step back so I don't. It's really as simple as the lesson that I got, and I guess maybe a lot of people didn't get as, as a young child. I'm gonna say like five, and that is if you don't have anything nice to say. Don't say anything at all. Right. And that's why I started to do the videos a little differently, too. So, like, I stopped showing my mother on the lives. Oh. I know some of you probably noticed that. So I stopped showing her as much. Because sometimes they'd be like, well, why does she look so unhappy today? What did you do to her? Like, and, oh, it, would, well, and it would be and that nothing. Impacts, but yeah. it impacts It's like, you. so what you think I'm over here fighting on <laughs> But it may be a day where she just wasn't feeling her best. Right, she may yeah. have been nauseous. She may have been still feeling woozy or, she or whatever. she just may have been drained from the dialysis. Exactly. I mean, and they'd be trying to read her facial expressions and like, well, what's wrong with her? What'd you do to her? And da 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 Or I could tell he must have done something. Like, they'd be having whole conversations. So I stopped showing her on the lives. And like, she might be in the car while I'm doing the live, but the camera wouldn't be on her. Right. And you'd hear her talking or something yeah, like yeah. that. But I reserved it for Patreon. Yeah. And the same is true now with Carlton. Like, I've started to do less with him on the lives. Because I haven't really had... Like, when we went to Virginia and wherever else we went... Excuse me. I didn't do any lives. Yeah. I did Patreon. You're right. A bunch of Patreon and uploaded that. But I've learned that the people that are on my Patreon... Are a little bit more supportive or respectful. It's almost like they're more supportive and respectful because they really do... Um, but adore is it because, you, but is because, it because it's like, they see more, maybe it might be that, but it's also like if a person is paying oh. to see you, they must really they want to be there, they want to be there, and they and they and they and they care about yeah, you yeah. to some degree, yeah, in a way beyond people who are just watching you on YouTube. I get that, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like they really are invested in supporting you, sure. Um, well, because that's, again, the integrity. Their words yeah. match their actions. And that's why I share things over there. Not even just, like, stuff that's going on with me, but, like, for example, like the um, the student loan thing, how mm. to get your money back. That's why I shared it over there because I try to give back to them because I recognize that they don't have to pay. Right. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. And so I try to share diff different things with them. I give them experiences that you're not going to get on the lives. You know what I mean? All of that kind of stuff. Sure. And I try to shit, you know, like things that I've learned or what I try to definitely give it to. Even like paying for your say. It started with Patreon. Right. Ever before I was um, doing it on lives. Like they had it for probably about a, a month or whatever okay. before I started talking about it on the lives. Because I knew that they would realize that it was a real thing. It was, a, yeah, yeah. That yeah. it wasn't something that I was just attaching myself right. to yeah. and trying to get them to sign up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you were serious. It was it was concrete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. And um, so yeah, so I've even like I said decided to alter how I share Carlton on the lives because again, like they'd be saying little negative things, or they'd be like, "Oh, father and son are back together." Like, oh yeah, they've said all kinds of nasty <laughs> shit. Yeah, 
<laughs> or they'll be like, yeah, you can tell Carlton ain't really into Craig. Look at the way he, you know, because sometimes, or, they, or, or they'll be like, oh, they, you can tell they just had an argument. Craig, what'd you do to Carlton? And I'm like, what are you talking about? We just <laughs> literally just finished laughing about something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they just be reaching. Right. And so I'm like, you know what? I'll fix them. <laughs> you won't even get certain things no more on the line. <laughs> So yeah, so um, and then you know Carlton and I have had, but that's that's kind of my point. Like the impact of people's words yeah. causes when we are trying to be transparent mm-hmm. and just have fun and enjoy, right? Mm-hmm. Engaging, um, but their words cause us to pull back mm-hmm. and be less transparent mm-hmm. and cause us to be like, okay. I'm only going to give you so much. Whereas, mm-hmm. I mean... Yeah, you end up being more guarded. That's right. Yeah. And I'm already guarded. Because <laughs> <No. laughs> even, like, with this homeless giveaway, um, and this ain't new for me. Like, I've been doing stuff. Like, it's, like, from the time I first... Those of you who've been following me for a while, from the time I first started streaming. Yeah. Now, I wasn't necessarily gathering up bags and taking Craig, them out. Ju- no, I'm going to take you back farther than that because you have been doing stuff like giveaways. Like, mm-hmm. I re- remember when um, because I donated books to Youth Pride. Remember? Oh, yes. You were do- like, so you've constantly I forgot about that. You've been doing stuff, giving back yeah. in your own way for, right. forever. Mm-hmm. So it started way before that. Mm-hmm. Like, So when I put my first book out at the time, I had this goal of, and those of you that have been following me for a while, you know this too. I had this goal of donating books to every LGBTQ youth organization in the country. And so I had my friends donate books, and then I would just ship them to the organization so they could have them on the library, in their library. And just so that young queer kids coming up could, could, see, themselves. could, could see themselves in these books, yeah. could read these books. And um, I had dinner with a friend of mine last night. She was visiting from LA. She flew back to LA today. But she used to be a dean in, at Princeton. Mm-hmm. And she was trying to get Words Never Spoken as required reading over mm-hmm. there in their career studies. And we were talking about that last night. But at any rate, so yeah, so in the beginning, I was doing, like, like there's an organization in Texas, in Houston, called Toiletries for Families. And like we donated. I had all my followers and stuff at the time. We donated to them. They donated money through Facebook to their organization directly. But then we also sent a bunch of toiletries directly down there to them. Oh. Like, we all shipped stuff down there. Yeah. And um, and so I did a live with the executive director. So, like, I've always tried to use it for something other than yeah. my own benefit. That's right. Right. Because yeah. a lot of people, they get on social media, and they only, they only on there about making their own money. They're not trying to galvanize people. I try to talk to people about going to vote mm-hmm. and, you know, just whatever. Because I just feel like social media should be more than just... So the the benefits of it, yeah. the monetization, y- yeah, it. yeah, uh, yeah, uh, just really? the monetization. Yeah, it should be more than that. It, yeah, you know, it should galvanize it because really and truly, social media is the reason that Black Lives Matter and all of these other um, organizations have grassroots. been able to, grassroots organizations have been able to um, really bring attention to causes or whether you're going all the way back to the Gina Six thing down in mm-hmm. Louisiana. Like, it was because of social media. Right. You know, those videos get posted by somebody, and then they... That's right. They spread. I mean, in, in what you do, and I guess maybe to an extent what I do, is that um, it's information. Like, you're mm-hmm. passing along information. And the reason, and I think I said this on the porch chat with Wendell, is one of my intentions for me doing this is mm-hmm. not just because people from Craig's mm-hmm. channel have come to my channel and asked me to do it, mm-hmm. but also because I want to normalize um, how you interact with black gay men. I want you to see us mm-hmm. in all facets. And, I mean, and not just what... What you see given on TV. to you That's right. on TV. On TV, yeah, right. Yeah. Because we live very normal... Right. Every day, and it's so funny because that's that's one of the things that come in all of the time in the comments. Like, oh my god, you guys have really changed my perspective on how I see gay right. people. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I always thought it was one way. That's right. Or you know, just whatever, whatever. So, I mean, that's a part of it too. And and just so you understand, this conversation, like we're, how Craig and I are speaking to you and speaking to each other right now, is generally how we speak uh, right, with each other. Right, right, right. The, you know it this, ain't all Miss Thing. Right. Like, it ain't all. It's not the live <laughs> that you see with me, right? And generally speaking, even when the four of us are together, this is the tone of our conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we have fun. Yeah, 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 But this is more so, it's more so subdued and more so this than mm-hmm. it is that. Right. Would you agree? I agree, yeah. for sure. 
Um, now we're supposed to be going to um, Six Flags on Sunday. <laughs> and if if Aunt Wait, Scott so comes, Craig gave me this little side eye because Craig um, Carlton has free tickets. Yes, and I immediately said yes because I love roller coasters. I love amusement parks. I always have. But then I started thinking about my pinched nerve, <laughs> and I was kind of like, okay, I just got my neck right, and if those roll, and I'm 54, and those roller coasters gonna be bopping and moving and breaking and right. doing all that stuff, and I'm like, do I really want to do that and risk, you know, aggravating my nerves? Right. So Craig is looking at me with a side eye, like I already know you go back out. <laughs> so if we go, well, Carlton and I are definitely gonna go. Y'all are going. But um, I will give you guys some Patreon because I'm going to take my GoPro. I haven't taken used my GoPro in probably oh, you know a I year. Have, you know I have a GoPro that just sits in a, in a um, drawer in my Really? Head. Yeah, see, I got the harness and everything. So I put the harness on when we're on our roller coasters and stuff. See, I use that as opposed to the phone when I'm doing activities. Oh. So, like, if I'm... Um, Zip lining, yeah, or like when we're on vacation, we're in I the water. Never, so my parents gave it to me as a Christmas gift, and I never fully understood. Really? The power so that's how I use mine. I don't you, use, but you don't, you can go live with it from the go as long as you're connected to Wi Fi. You got to be connected to Wi Fi. So I've never gone live with okay. it because okay. I'm like I don't see the point of that. Okay, I got to figure that out. Because I mean, it looks different when you're inside. Yeah. Through that oh, GoPro, right? It almost looks like you're looking in a fishbowl. Yeah, yeah. I, but yeah. it works better when you're outside because it opens up everything. But like, how are you gonna have Wi-Fi outside? Oh, like how no. would you connect? Like you would have to be stationary or something. So I just record it on mine, okay. and then I dump, dump all of the footage, and I put my little transitions and stuff in it, and I create my story. I have to figure that out. I have to go pull it out. Yeah. Of my but I mostly use that now when I'm doing activity and like I can't if we hold bike camera. riding or something. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. That's when I used to do it. Because I got like the thing to go on your forehead yeah. to get capture footage and Yeah. So I was But you could use kind of the stuff. thing, the little stick that you could stick on your dashboard, yes? Yeah, I've used it in the car and I've plugged it, I've attached it in the car. But again, it's recording. Oh. It, ain't, it ain't it still ain't live. I don't right. live yeah, yeah. Okay. I tried live streaming with it and it just kept disconnecting. I said, Well I ain't about to be doing all of that. Okay. Well, but I guess, you know, the other thing is we have, um, it might cost the arm and a leg, but we have those things on our phone that where you can create a, um, what's it called? Uh, hmm. You can go on your phone and do a setting where you can turn on a hotspot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I think, I don't know if I tried that. I don't know if I tried the hotspot. But I, I just realized that I don't need to just be doing go live it. from it's the lot. camera. Yeah. From that camera. It's a lot of technology. But the, the but the footage is amazing, like when I do it. Yeah. I can know, only like, imagine like being on a roller coaster. That oh probably my God. looks awesome. And then like when we were jumping off things into the water in Mexico and because the camera goes underwater and like oh, when right. we were snorkeling and yeah. stuff, like I mean they went up when they saw that footage. Yeah. They were like, Oh my god, this Patreon is everything, you know, because I I literally try to create experience. It's like, why else would people want to subscribe if sure. you're not really there. giving them something that's visually appealing? Right. Yeah, and you you're there. I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get that. So, yeah. All right, we've been on here almost an hour. I have to go meet my cousin for lunch. And oh, yeah. Craig is... What time is the lunch? 1.30. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, and I had, I need to get on with my day. I'm going to go ahead to the chiropractor. Let me go ahead and schedule me an appointment. You see what I'm saying? Like, my phone didn't ring. My phone don't ring. Um, <laughs> Ain't nobody calling me. Yeah, let me go schedule me a, an appointment. I'm going to go to the gym first. Today is the 20th? Uh, yes, it yeah. is. And then um, and then I'm going to go to the uh, chiropractor. I'm going to go to the... Thanks for joining us uh, on my porch chat. Look for more. I'll be on different porches, maybe one near you. Have a good day. Oh, that's right. They were only open for until Wednesday.